What was Earth like 4 billion years ago? Planet Earth was not where it is now around 4 billion years ago. It was born from a solar nebula at a distance from the sun. It has undergone several processes to be where it is now. The processes are the ones resulting in its uniqueness, composition, and its ability to sustain life. Are there any other sources or specialists trying to explain how Earth was before? What exactly was Earth like 4 billion years ago? Join me today in this video as we discuss more what Earth was like 4 billion years ago. Geologists in Canada worked hard for many years trying to extract the rock. They thought the rock they will succeed in extracting was older than Earth. Some traveled by boat and others by foot to accomplish the mission they had started. They worked all day long and they seemed less bothered if night had already come. They worked in areas that had nothing except vegetation, meaning there was no rescue point in case they met a catastrophe. In their area, extraction was a unique job to many. The areas had a lot of snow and ice during winter, but still, they could try until they find a place where heat action has taken place. This made their work easier as they could see through and perform their duty. However, challenges did not stop them from achieving what they wanted. They worked hard to realize what had shaped, where they lived to be, and how it was. The first rock they met was metamorphic rock which looked beautiful. It was unique since it resulted from continent collisions that gave rise to it. Pressure and heat are the ones that expose the rock to the surface. The geologists took the sample to the laboratory for tests. After decay tests, they were able to discover its age. Acasta Nice was the name and it was 4 billion years old. It is the oldest rock on Earth. It has withstood several harsh environmental conditions for its survival course. Even if it is the oldest, its age does not surpass Earth. Half a billion years are missing from its history to meet Earth's age. The geologists have tried their best but have not met a rock the same age as Earth. The rock's age is the same age as the one plants and animals have existed on Earth. About 4,568 billion years ago, Earth came into existence. This was before the Akastanese rock took its original form. Earth was born out of gravity pulling small dust particles and clouds together to form large rocks. A large spherical body that is Earth took its shape about 150,000 kilometers from the sun. Inside Earth was iron and nickel among other metals. The metals being heavy, they settled at the bottom of Earth forming the core. This was due to the high force of gravity present which the elements were unable to withstand. After the elements settled, the Earth separated into mantle and core. The surface of Earth was exposed to space and cooled to form a thin layer of crust. Later, the planet got exposed to the surface where the heat cooled down and solidified to crust. Things seemed normal for some time and after the occurrence, Theia also struck. Theia is a Mars-sized protoplanet that collided with Earth. Several movements of Theia resulted in it being closer to Earth. The temperature resulting from collisions between Earth and Theia made the rock turn to solid and then to liquid and to vapor last. The crusted mantles of both planets were stripped away. As the dust settled, the Earth still remained unrecognized. The rock from the mantle goes down as molten droplets and dust. The sky separated into day and night. The energy from Theia collisions increased the planet's rotation, making it to be complete within 5 hours. The collision between small rocks made it easier for them to join and attract larger rocks. This attracted a high force of gravity to act on orbiting debris. Earth's way to the sky was cleared by an object. Through this, the moon itself came into existence. The early moon was not the only one we usually see, it was dull red in color. Through the escaping of heat from inside the moon into space, it changed its color to gray. The moon also spins more like the Earth. It was 10 times closer than it is today. From the planet's surface, it appeared 15 times wider. It will require much for anyone to hide it from view. Through all these actions, the world has now something orbiting 20,000 miles away and it has a significant impact on the world. Theia's impact on Earth had come along with a great amount of heat on Earth's surface. Through heat action, the crust solidified and the molten mantle became an ocean. As the Earth and Moon rotate on one another, the planet bulges out more. Extreme temperatures on the surface of Earth make life uncomfortable sometimes. Lava floats and fountains of magma make life unbearable by bringing air absence. This brought a new Earth into existence, which could have shocked many if they visited it earlier. The Hadean Eon It is hard for anything to survive on this red planet due to the hostile environmental conditions present. The Earth was not the blue one we all see now. It was something else with extreme temperatures brought by lava flow. During this time, heat was three times the heat we experience today. This made water evaporate away. 
In the end, if the Hadean stage comets and asteroids were still present on Earth, it was characterized by extreme volcanicity as the Earth was struggling to cool. Hydrogen and helium continued to leak from the atmosphere during this time. Oceans that were present during this time had extreme temperatures of 446 degrees. During this time, the Earth and Moon competed for space. Later, the rate at which the two were spinning slowly decreased. The effect led to days and nights growing longer, great gravitational forces present locked the Moon. The same case happened to Earth before. The Moon now took the same time it takes to orbit the Earth to rotate its axis. After this, the Moon started moving away from the Sun at the rate of 4 cm a year and this is what it does exactly up to now. The Moon shrinks from its view and then the thickening crust takes over. This makes the Earth's surface stable. The presence of convection currents in the mantle forced molten rock to the surface. The rock cooled and moved the magmatic seas. During these times, hydrogen and helium escaped from the atmosphere. Though they were not the only components present, other gases and water vapor were present. Water vapor condensed to form a cloud, high and low pressures developed leading to the fall of the first rain as a result of wind blowing between the pressures. As liquid rock strips away gases such as nitrogen, sulfur, and water vapor also go away. Later, a reaction between carbon and water takes place and gives out results in acid rain. Acid rain brings along acidic oceans and acidic river flows. The moon is also thought to have been formed during this time as a result of a collision between Earth and a Mars-sized object. During this time, the Earth also developed a source of heat, that's the sun. The mantle also starts exalting a significant effect on Earth as a result of vigorous volcanic activities. The rock is also torn apart as more lava is evaded to fill the space left. All of these are powered by the interior flow of Earth giving rise to plate tectonics. This brings the creation of new rocks, the ones inside the crust, cool to form granites. The rocks crush and even change their structure to become metamorphic rocks. This is what gave rise to Acasta Nis, the oldest rock on Earth as compared to other rocks that even existed before it. The Earth looked unique and different years back, before some evolutions took place to help in shaping the world into what it is today. Many collisions between objects have happened but later they show up with awesome results. We should appreciate what the Earth looks like now and what it was around 4 billion years ago. Around 4 billion years ago, through many processes, a rock was formed. It was to withstand all the environmental conditions. This rock was a metamorphic called Nice. Some have melted and eroded away. But for this rock, things have been different. The Akasa Nice has survived 90% of Earth's history even though it has not met the expectations of history, it has tried its level best. It has surpassed all the best in its performance. It has proved its durability. Thank you for watching the video. Please remember to subscribe so that you don't miss on our next video.